Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler Arias, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man, we're back at it. In this video, we're going to be talking about a complete tutorial and buying guide for the CEO Special Cargo Crates, all right? First things first, you have to buy an office. What you want to do is go to the Dynasty 8 Executive website, which you saw me go to right there, and purchase an office. The best one to go with will be the Maze Bank West. It normally sells for $1 million, but this week from February 20th until the 26th, it is on sale at 40% off and an extra 10% if you have your Twitch Prime linked to your account. So you can get it for as low as 500000 for this week. And many times this office will go on sale and the others as well. So definitely look at that. I would strongly recommend the Maze Bank West for the reason that really now in the game you don't have to use your office that much you just have to have it to be able to, to initiate this stuff all right now when you go into customize the office you know you don't need to have any of this stuff the decor of course you know the the name you're going to have to or want to put that in the gun locker the safe these things are all going to be optional you don't have to have them but as you progress in the game as you're going to make money which you will especially watching my guides then you can come back and get this stuff for example to change up the decor you know it's several hundred thousand dollars more you just have to kind of figure out what you want to do but again a lot of this stuff you do not need i mean we'll we'll talk about it for a little bit but that's really about it as you see right here you know for whatever decor you want to go with the price goes up a little bit here and there again this week they are on discount so if you do have the spare cash then maybe something you want to look into but overall, as you can see, some of the stuff is very, very expensive for the interiors. And like I said, it's not required. And we will talk about what you do need, plus a lot more. And that's where you're going to want to focus your money. But I'm not going to lie. It is fun to go in there and kind of play, uh, you know, house, home, designer, whatever. That is fun. I mean, we all enjoy that. Uh, probably the only thing that would be really an essential thing or something that would be worth it would probably be the gun locker. We'll, I'll show you that in just a minute here. All right, now, say you got your uh, your office, you're all set up, you're, you've bought it. Let's go take a look at it and see what we got on the inside here. Go through the animation. Now, this right here, you can purchase uh, three extra garages and a mod shop, and I will talk about that real quick. Again, you don't have to have that, but the first garage will be $1,150,000. The second add-on garage will be $855,000. And if you purchase the third add-on garage, it'll be $745,000. Now, you have additional add-ons in there as well, which will run you you know, several hundred thousand dollars more, up to a million bucks. If you do have all three garages, you can have up to 60 additional cars that you can store, 20 per garage. And then the custom auto shop will cost you 900 grand and up to 500,000, depending on what floor that you go with, the flooring you can change out. Now, when you're inside the office, one of the best features that you get with the office is free snacks. I mean, that's awesome. You can call Pegasus as well, call a personal vehicle. It's it's really nice. That comes in handy if you do a lot of heists or if you know you're just active on a lot of missions and things like that. You know, buying snacks, even though they're super cheap, it does add up. And just being able to you know save money. If you're a money grinder, you're always looking for ways to maximize your efficiency, save money, and things like that. And that's what you can do. You have some of the accommodations in here. That's your little cheap bed that you know costs you several hundred thousand dollars or whatever, right? Uh, but yeah, so the interior of the office is epic. And look at this. I mean, this is great. You do not get this from day one. You have to sell roughly $12 million in crates to maximize all this cash on the floor, all the little crates of weapons and you know contraband. It's really cool. It adds to the decor. I cannot tell you how many times people have come into my office and are like, oh my God, this is insane. It's really fun to watch it grow as you progress with the CEO crate business. It's really, really cool. It's really fun. You know, you got your telescope there, which you can use for hat and mask and stuff like that. You have the gold trophy, which you can only get after a thousand collections completed, which uh, that's a grind right there, but it's fun and it's worth it. Here's the gun locker right here. And you use the gun locker to basically uh, adjust your weapon wheel. One of the greatest things that they brought in with this was being able to customize the weapon wheel. You could remove weapons that you never use. Of course, you want to buy a whole bunch of guns, but there's certain weapons you just don't use that much. So you can use the weapon locker to customize and and you know add weapons to your uh, weapon wheel or take them out really handy there's your uh, money safe right there they've changed it up since this was released you can have chips in there now and different things for that so it's really cool now once you're in your office you can run vehicle cargo there's some special work and then of course your crate business this is where you'll buy your crate warehouses and you can buy up to five large warehouses 
So that's pretty cool. Now you can have small warehouses, medium warehouses, or large warehouses, a combination of all of them or whatever. But uh, you can only upgrade. You cannot downgrade. For example, I can go from a small warehouse to a medium, from a medium to a large, but I can't go from a large to a medium or a large to a small or a medium to a small. It doesn't work that way. You can only go up. Now, this is the setup that I have. I like this one. No matter what, buy the four on the right. They're pretty close together. You can put your terabyte in between the two. You can teleport to your office, whatever, however you want to do it. But I recommend getting, at the very least, a four on the side. I have the one up top, which I'll just do independently and mix it with my um, VIP work. And then you have these other three right here. The closer you keep them together, the better off it's going to be for you in regard to your efficiency. And like I said, again, uh, you know, this week from the, the 20th to the 26th, even the warehouses are on sale as well. So definitely look into that, okay? You can find out how many crates you got from here. If you don't have a terabyte, you can actually source your crates from the office. For years, this is where we would go to source our crates. You go back to your office. You buy crates, go put them into your warehouse, come back to your office and rinse and repeat. That's how the process was. Once you purchase a warehouse, go in there and check it out. Notice you have this red toolbox right here. This is very important because this toolbox will actually allow you to upgrade your planes, your, uh, your brigade trucks, your tugboats. And that's very, very important. We'll talk about all the pricing here in just a moment on some of the stuff. So don't worry, I'll keep you up to date on that. Inside the office right here, you have a computer terminal. This is where you will launch your sales from. This is very important, okay? To guarantee one vehicle for a sale, it's nine crates or less. Anything above that's gonna be two or three vehicles, but I promise you, you can sell everything solo. You can sell a full warehouse solo. If you're worried about the Titan and the Cuban, don't. If you get a Titan or a Cuban sale, just go scout your drops ahead of time, destroy the enemies, and come back to the plane and make your drop. Very simple. All right, here's a map of all the warehouses, small, medium, and large, and then the offices. The offices are purple triangles, the large are red, the medium are yellow, and the small are green. Okay, and again, we'll go over the pricing here in just a moment. Don't worry, I got you covered. It's all good. But this is what they look like on the map. And so, again, you know, try and keep them as close as you can. But if you're starting out, the small warehouses are just fine, and you will be able to upgrade because it is better to have the larger warehouses. So talking about the pricing, here we go. For the large warehouses, the wholesale furniture is going to be 1900000 the West Vinewood backlot will be 2135000 The Zero Gas Factory will be 2365000 the logistics depot was two million six hundred thousand. The big, our Bill Gecko warehouse, excuse me, is two million eight hundred twenty-five thousand. Walker and Sons is three million forty thousand. Cypress will be three million two hundred sixty-five thousand, and Darnell Bros will be three million five hundred thousand. And for this week into the twenty-sixth, they are all on sale. So check that out. For the medium warehouses, which will hold forty-two crates, large will hold one hundred eleven. By the way. Uh, the G warehouse is 880,000. The Derriere lingerie backlot, 902,000. The Frigid Annex is 925,000. Discount, discount retail unit is 948,000. The disused is 971. The LS is 994,000. The old power is a million. And the rail yard is just over a million. The small warehouses will hold 16 crates. The convenience store lockup is 250,000. The cell tower is 318,000. The white widow garage is 360,000. The Pacific Bait is 376,000. Pier 400 is 392,000. And the foreclosed garage will be 400,000. So technically this week, you can get fully started for about $750,000. That's not bad at all. A small warehouse will make you 240,000 thousand dollars the medium warehouse will sell uh, for seven hundred thirty five thousand and then the large warehouse will sell for two million two hundred twenty thousand dollars if they are all full so definitely look into that um, now of course you want to source three crates at a time that means it'll be six thousand per crate so keep that in mind right here is the price for the delivery vehicle upgrades that I talked to you about all in all, it'll be about 1.25 million. With these crates, you also have unique special crates. There's six different ones. They are triggered. You, if you're a first timer, you have to source 20 crates first. And after that, it's a 10% chance every 48 minutes. All right. And that's real life, 48 minutes. Then you see the pricing right here. It, definitely, these are absolutely worth it. Anytime you get a call from your assistant, which is what or how you'll be notified, your assistant will call you. Be like, hey, I got a great deal for you. Go, you know, just go over here. It costs Cost a little bit more, but you also sell it for more. Definitely get these. They also go for double money. It's epic, all right? Now, I'm sure I may have left something out. There's a ton to cover in there, but this is 
pretty much everything you need to know to get you started and then some. So you guys will have an educated information on what to do and how to do it. And you're good to go. If you do have any questions, however, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for coming out to the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. And you guys stay dangerous, right? We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.